Today I'm going to show you a larger tank I just built for an orchid mantis who has been fertilized by a male and who I moved into a larger tank today at the suggestion of somebody on Instagram. I had posted a video of this mantis here eating a fly out of my hand and uh, the video is doing quite well on Instagram at the moment and uh, some conversation was happening there and I had mentioned that I have two adult female orchid mantises that are um, a little bit egg bound, they're just not dropping their egg cases like I would like them to and someone suggested to me that I might move it into a larger cage um, and so I've done that with one of them here. Um, a change of scenery is uh, never a bad thing when a uh, female mantis is not dropping her eggs. Um, and uh, perhaps she'll find some comfort here in this new cage. Um, I uh, have this plexiglass lid here. I prefer plexiglass over a screened lid uh, when I'm trying to get a mantis to lay her egg cases. And the reason for that is, is if she deposits the case on the top, they're a lot easier to kind of tug off. Um, if it were a, uh, a screened lid, then it would really, really bind to it a lot more tightly, and I would have difficulty getting uh, it removed from there. Um, I've got some holes punched in on this. This is a very, very... <laughs> I've used this a million times. In fact, I've used this, this cage itself a million times. Um, you can see the female up there. Uh, this cage you can see these dividers in it. I used to have some slides that go down in there to divide it into three places and I had scorpions in here over the years. I mean, assassin bugs, I, wheel bugs. I have an old wheel bug video uh, that I think was taken in this tank. Um, it's, it's, seen, it's seen a lot of visitors over the years. Um, I had a black fat tail uh, scorpion in here, the Parabuthus, uh, the spitting scorpion, and I remember just gently touching it uh, with a pencil and watching it. This was back in the early 2000s when this species first came in, and uh, it was flipping its tail all around the cage, and this white milky venom was just kind of running down the sides. Um, a lot of my tanks are pretty much all of them, to be honest, are functional rather than display tanks. Uh, I just have so many things coming and going and so many different bugs all the time that uh, I, I don't spend a lot of time just keeping them looking pristine. I'm always really, really inspired by what the customers send me after they get the pet bugs that they order from us through the Bugs on Cyberspace website. And they have these beautiful tanks, the desert display tanks in particular for death fainting beetles and other kinds of desert beetles. And even terrariums, you know, beautiful planted terrariums. Um, a lot of dark frog keepers are really good at that. Uh, for mantises, though, I mean, I've, I've just seen some really, really beautiful ones and also sometimes some really creative ones. You know, people doing themes based on other things they like, like seashore themes or um, lunar landscape themes, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, the reason for this cheesy looking contraption here with the uh, even cheesier looking fake flowers, I've had these flowers for <laughs> a really long time too. They may have appeared in some of my other videos. It's just something I grab every once in a while uh, when I'm setting up a mantis breeding tank. And uh, the plastic here, that's simply uh, something that I cut to fit right here. So this would be in the center of the tank. I'm just setting it on top of these divider things. Um, like I said, more of a functional type of setup. So the airspace is taken up in here. It provides a feeling of maybe nature and security, some different options for places where the mantis might feel more comfortable depositing her egg case. Another word for egg case, for those of you who are not mantis keepers, is oatheca. The plural is oathec. Uh, quick point, anytime you see the letters A and E, like in the word antennae, it's pronounced E. A lot of people say antennae or, you know, mess it up in other ways. It's okay to say antennas if you have to, but um, anytime you have A-E at the end of the word, uh, throw, throw the E sound at the end of that. Um, 
So uh, I've got some coconut fiber down on the bottom of this tank and uh, I moisten it. That helps to uh, retain humidity in the tank for the mantis. Um, you know, she wants to lay her egg case in an environment that will be suitable to it hatching and she may be reluctant to deposit it. Sometimes the species and other mantises are just reluctant to, to deposit it for mysterious reasons. And so the best we can ever do is to try to minimize um, anything that might be making her feel uncomfortable. And uh, there's only so many factors. Uh, the size of the tank here, uh, I'm hoping is going to make a difference for her. But just by virtue of it being a different tank with, you know, maybe some more hiding places in it and everything, I'm hoping that that's enough to, um, you know, cause her to deposit it. So uh, I was going to do a quick feeding demonstration here for you guys as well. Um, before I do that, I find my tweezers in the meantime. Um, I've got a little example here. This is, I glue the egg cases once they're deposited to the top of a uh, lid here on little cages like this. And then I put them over in a warming chamber at about 80 degrees or so. It fluctuates quite a bit. And uh, keep them a little, you see some moisture here on the sides. Um, I usually try to make that moisture go away, uh, sometimes by leaving the lid slightly ajar if I've oversprayed. Um, I like it to be gone within an hour or so. Um, I have a ghost mantis in here I can show you as well. She's a brownish, well, she's very green actually. She's brown and green. And uh, she was fertilized last night by a male ghost mantis. And so I'm very excited for her to be depositing her egg case soon. And they're a slightly smaller species than the orchid. Um, I'm going to pick up the camera here and take it with me. I'm trying not to hold it vertically because that's what I'm used to. All my Instagram videos show you another mantis down here, another female ghost mantis. Drop a roach down there. Oh, there she, she picked it up rather quickly. I always get lucky in my videos. Could have bounced anywhere. She grabbed it right away. And as soon as I say I get lucky, I <clears throat> lose my orchid mantis. So let's let's grab this cricket right here. I said cricket, but it's a cockroach. It's a Turkestan roach mantis. There she goes. A hand feeding demonstration for you. I was actually going to feed this one over here, one of those two roaches. This is a Spodromantis. You see right now it's cleaning itself. African giant mantis. And I think I had another one out over here. Here it is. I don't know whether I'm showing off my mantis or uh, my blooming orchid here in this video, but Sometimes you put your hand behind it, it helps to reveal and focus. See the mantis there? This is a thistle mantis, Blepharopsis mendica. And uh, it's eyeing my finger there. Beautiful flanged species, mottled and fairly wicked looking, really. Love them. So I had mentioned that I use coconut fiber for the bottom of the cages. And this is a coconut fiber brick here. I needed to make a new one anyway, but I figured I'd show you this real quick. Just rehydrate it, pour a bunch of water in it, add a little bit more water later, and it'll rehydrate up. And it'll be the liner for the bottom of the cage in there. And uh, that's my lunch. Got some cilantro and some uh, Taiwanese basil in there, two of my favorite things, just some standard ramen. <laughs> On a roll now, I'm just going to show you what else I got in here. I'm going to be making a video about these things here. Um, there is a carpet beetle there, and two carpet beetle larvae, dermestid beetle larvae. These are the things that decimate your insect collection in the home most of the time. 
people are more familiar with dermestid beetles as being the things that clean bones. I've already taken about, I don't know, 15 minutes of video about these larvae here. Um, I won't give you any spoilers, but uh, I found an adult today and I decided that I was going to implement that into the other video, which will be probably coming out in a month or two. I think that about wraps it up for today's video. Happy, happy Orchid Mantis. The Roach, not so much.